to. So okay, so that oh, well, let me go into this other thing before I get into this ang- this angelic destiny thing. Because uh-huh. um, the question came up every, every so often. I've been doing this for 19 years, and every so often, this question will come up on um this question will come up about well, how are we gonna save the masses? How are we gonna save the masses? Now I remember. When I first started out in this thing in the, you know, in the late 1980s, we would have me and the brothers in grad school at, 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 at the Clark Atlanta University and stuff. We used to sit up for days trying to see how we're going to get black people out of this, out of this, out of this mess, you know, um, because the crack was real bad back then and the contradictions, you know, and stuff like that and all, you know, and um, we was... You know, so we would sit up and have all these discussions. And nothing we could think of physically that we know that would work. So we came to the conclusion um, when we studied the other revolutionaries from the late 60s and the early 70s, you know, Stokely Carmichael and the Black Power Movements and, the, and, the, and all these other things with the Black Panther and stuff like that. And they said they had these black guys, they... They, you know, was working hard, and they used to have all these meetings on how we gonna get up out of this mess. He said, and then the, and they start handing out money and giving people uh, jobs and different things in the seventies, and the people just got out of the black conscious thing, and it had, had these black leaders and stuff scratching their heads, about to go crazy because they was like, damn, we don't know what happened to the people. So, mm-hmm. um, so we realized that the masses have never done anything but died. Now. Mm-hmm. Let me explain something here. But we need, but, but, but for people that's, that, 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 that grew on our people, and I know you, you should have a certain love for your people. Yeah. So we still need a better explanation on why is it that the masses can only, um, um, the, the masses can only uh, um, die, but they can't be everybody because it's not a national consciousness. And we know that our consciousness is only old point something, which means out of millions of black people, you might have at best in, in, on world total, total maybe a, a few thousand, maybe less than that, and t- a, a, a conscious people. But more and more people are becoming conscious every day. People could, people could bring the phone and stuff, say, I want to get some Bobby products and stuff like that. And, and Linda will say, well, how long have you been in this? Well, I just heard about it last week. Mm-hmm. So you see, I heard of him the other day. So th- there are people waking up. You see what I'm saying? That's why they have to tamper with stuff, with this consciousness, and with this pioneer stuff by putting all that soy in the food and all other kind of crazy stuff and like that because the people are waking up. But this is the key. Why is it that most of the the, 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 the people in the, uh, in the consciousness are just a few people, but why is it the masses are still remain dead? And, and, all. and so, in order to explain this, we need a better explanation. Well, the Egyptians were the masters of knowledge, or the Camites. Mm-hmm. So you have R.A. Swallow de Lubitz, who was an Egyptologist that went down and studied Kemet. He studied at the Temple of Luxor and excavated the Temple of Luxor for 15 years in the 1940s. Okay. But he came, so they had a, a thing agreed upon that the Egyptologists would only talk about the pharaohs built these, these, these pyramids and all this stuff was, you know, for funerary stuff and all, and all. But they always would play down that these, this is the, the, the origin of where all knowledge comes from. And they always play down the spiritual significance. You see, now always Swallow and Lewis started putting out his books. And he started talking about, no, this is talking about something else. This is some spirit stuff, and this is some stuff, and, and, and showing the mathematical sequences and stuff and all, you know. And he put out a, the, the Temple of Man in a small book where they released the bigger Temple of Men books in the late 90s. And they said, man, you damn near need math just to figure this shit out. So it showed you that these people were the underpinning of all knowledge, the Camites, the Egyptians. But during his study at the, um, at the Temple of Luxor, he hit upon something that the priest had put in hieroglyphics and meta and knew this, and that's why the priest ran the society. You, you on? You still on? Hello? Right, yes. Oh, okay, okay, good. So, so check this out. So 
what happened was the Egyptians say that you got three different types of people. You got your conscious, which is the highest level. Then you have your intellectuals, which is the next level, but they're not as high as the consciousness. And then you have what is called automatons. And automatons are people that don't even have a mind. Now check this shit out. Do you know that everybody down here doesn't have a mind? A mind has to be cultivated. So in order for your mind to develop, you got to co- be cultivated in a society yeah. that knows how to get your, jump start your mind to working. That's so this right. makes yeah. sense because sometimes I say, did them niggas ever, what was that nigga thinking? You know, Two black men in two black men in nineteen ninety three killed each other over three fucking cents. Three yeah. pennies. Mm. Here in Atlanta. And you gotta ask yourself, what were these damn niggas thinking? You see? You know, this fool ass girl already got her man, she gonna put a love spell on it and the man not going the man roaming around the damn street crazy. What was she thinking? So the point about it is this. The, they're called automatons. They're on automation, which means they can only be controlled by the society. So whatever the society want to control them, they design this thing to control the society. And one of the things how they design to control you and lock you in is education, because it's not real education. You see what I'm saying? It locks yeah. the mind down. You see? It does. That's what Gandhi said, Western education. And well, that would be a good idea. So what happened was here is, so what happens here is, um, most of the people in the society don't develop a mind. They are only imitating pockets of the society that they are in. Programs that are designed for them, you see what I'm saying, that is designed for them to go about their day. But... Whenever you introduce consciousness to them, and they don't have a mind, they throw it away. They throw it away. They think you crazy. Yeah. You see, <laughs> and what it is, they're called automatons. Now, he 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 talks about this in his book Sacred Science. R. A. Schwaller de Lubitz. Um, uh, let me spell that. But once, but his wife came up, and she she did a, a book called The Opening of the Way. Yeah. And she even simpl- she even simplified his theories of the stuff. He got the stuff from Metanetta out of out of out of Temple of Luxor and Karnak. So what she did is she 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 was more of she was more of a metaphysician. So what she did is that she put it on layman's terms. But but her name is Isha I S H I S H um I S H A Schwala S C W a L L E R, and then there's a uh, D D E small D small E and Lubitz L U B I C Z, and the name of her book is called The Open of the Way. If you don't, if you don't get the author's name, you just need the title of the book, The Opening of the Way: A Practical Guide for the Wisdom Teachings of Ancient Egypt. But the opening of, of of the way, and in there, in there, let me tell you the page number when you do access the book. And she goes into this stuff, and it gives you an explanation why people are, are the way they are. So in that particular book, you're gonna um, turn to page thirty-two in her book, uh, and it's the the, the 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 heading of that particular chapter is gonna be called the consciousness. In man, in man. So most people, they're born here. Some people come to this planet with a high spirit, and you incarnated down here because you came back to know. Yeah. And so what happens here is you came back to know. As a result, you automatically and you and, and you ask any conscious person, how long you been thinking like this? They say all my life. You see what I'm saying? All my life. You say, even when you weren't conscious, you just you just thought different. You thought always thought you were special. 
And that and, and that is that is a, a way of your spirit incarnating down here, so one day you can wake up. The other people they come down and then they get trapped into the educational system that the government has designed, where they took. See what happened was the Moors put this thing together. They gave them the spiritual aspect, and they gave them the several liberal arts. So what happened was, was after the Moors was kicked out and the Europeans started designing this stuff, especially Britain, Oxford, Cambridge, and all of those types of things, and, and, some, and some of the schools in France, what they agreed to, because it was all Masonics, was to split it in half and give you the, the, the several liberal arts, but don't give you the stuff that explains the quantum world, the invisible world, the spirit world. Everything has another reaction. So... So what it is 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 because it, 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 so they as a result the seven liberal arts locks you in and make you call a left brain prisoner. Yeah. So that's why you can talk go to some professors or you can go to some people that so called educated and, and, and all and you will tell them about this stuff and they go I don't I can't get that. That's crazy. Yeah. yeah. That's 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 crazy. That's crazy. Yeah. And then they give you the fake religion to lock you in. It teaches you moralism, but it don't teach you nothing on the spiritual aspect because everything's spiritual when it comes to um, the religion that they, you go in these churches. They say is evil. So, 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 so the, the second one is the intellectual person. He's trapped, and the third one is one that didn't get developed at all, and that's the majority of the people. They are locked down by the society where their minds don't even develop. So in, 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 in ancient Egypt, there's a book also called Stellar Man by John Bain, Stellar Man. And they said, no, not everybody down here has a mind. Not everybody down here has a mind and stuff like that. And, and you know, so it's just interesting on how we talk about, and it, and it, makes, it, it makes it real clear on how we talk about how, to, how, to, uh, how we can't get the masses. The masses are not even living. They are transitory spooks. They go up there, they're literally zombies, <clears throat> you see. They're yeah, literally they zombies. Are. But the ones that's waking up, those are the zombies that the government is scared of. You see what I'm saying? Right. You see, like that. So just very interesting stuff, you know. Oh, yes. Okay, yes. what time is it? The How much time, time we got? We...